Hi, my name is Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. This wheelbarrow has worked hard. Lots of loads of cement, garden soil, compost and so forth. And it hasn't had the luxury of sleeping inside the garage. It has been left outside. The wheel is broken, the body looks tired, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to replace the wheel and give it a quick refurbishing to have it looking proper and in good condition. What you will need, a replacement wheel kit, a few basic tools and in this case a 14mm spanner and a large flathead screwdriver, 60 grit sandpaper, a paint scraper, a roller sponge and a paintbrush. And I'm also going to be using Durham DTM Direct to Metal. Now the first thing to do is to get the wheel off using a screwdriver and a spanner. And yesterday I sprayed some Q8 penetrating oil which is going to make it really easy to get these off. Right, the wheel is off and besides using it as a paperweight, I don't really have any use for it. The frame is in good condition and the bucket is in good condition and at this point I don't need to replace the entire wheelbarrow. But if your bucket looks like this, you may want to replace it. And if you're not sure what to replace it with, check out the link on the description to see the wheelbarrow options available at Builders. Alright, now let's get this bucket and frame cleaned up and ready for painting. Now I should be taking the bucket off the frame, but these bolts have ceased. I should have done this a long time ago, it would have been much easier. Now nothing technical about this, just a paint scraper, coarse sandpaper and a dash of elbow grease. Now this is not a task to do on your solid oak dining room table or on the lounge carpet. Rather head over outside or into the garage. Great, now it's sanded and clean. You're probably not going to be able to get it down to bare metal. Get off what you can. Now let's get some paint on it. And this DTM has a primer mixed in already and it's got a great UV resistance which will also help to prevent rust in the future. Painting's done. Now remember to always read the instructions on the tin. I'm going to leave this for a few hours to dry and then I'm going to be attaching the wheel. It's time to get the new wheel on and using this wheel replacement from Builders is as simple as putting the XL bar through the wheel and attaching it to the frame, ensuring the washers are positioned between the wheel and the XL brackets. Just note, if your wheelbarrow has its front support bars, they usually go onto the same bolts as the wheel attachment. While I'm at it, I'm going to put some new bolts in. All done, looking good. But most importantly, the wheel works as it should and it's good to go for a few more years. Now remember, everything I've used is available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.